Okay, here we are uh, with uh, the last assignment here for geometry, and I want to just make a few videos outlining the process, give you an idea of what I'm looking for. And so the first thing we are going to do here when you're working on this uh, project is to go to Desmos, desmos.com. Once you're at Desmos, you're going to click on Start Graphing, and you should see this graph like this. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sign in to Desmos. So you click sign in. You want to sign in with Google. So you click sign in with Google and make sure that if it does not give you an option here, that you put in your, your student email along with your password. So for me, I'm going to use my, my work email or tsatimperiousd.org. And because I'm already signed in, um, I don't have to enter my password. It recognizes that I'm using my my school email notice right here it says my name and you have this graph right here now what you're gonna be working on and let me show you is you're gonna be working on making a drawing using Desmos and so there's a ton here you can see what they look like these are all made. these all these drawings are all made on Desmos and so you get, you're going to pick what you want to draw and then you're going to make it using equations. You see the equations right here? That's going to be your job. So uh, to do this, uh, then let me close this out. First, the first thing we want to do is we want to go to here, uh, uh, click on this little menu bar and we want to create a new blank graph. Or you see how it says untitled graph. Either way, we click uh, create new blank graph. Then you want to click there so you can uh, rename it. So we'll call it geometry final 2020. Now I do have that name already taken up. So I'm going to put demo, which is short for demonstration. For you, it's good if you just put geometry final 2020. As a matter of fact, maybe add your name here. So that way when you're submitting this it's easier for me to recognize so you can put your name i'll put demo here because it's the one i'm using to demonstrate so you click save and you see the name changed uh and now we have this graph if you click on the plus button it zooms in if you click on the minus button it zooms out if you click on this little home button it goes back to how it starts if you click on this arrow it hides that menu bar you click on the arrow it shows up again and right here you can sign out which we don't want to do your just now but just so you're familiar with it there's a settings here that you can delete some of these functions later on you click done but basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be graphing on this thing for example let's say i want a point uh, i want a point a point at six six i would put here six comma six and you see the point shows up right there it's right there now if I want to keep the point, but I don't want to see it, I can hide it and I can click on that little um, circle right there. It hides it. You can add a label if you want and you could give the name a name like Pete. And you see how it's now has a letter or if you don't want a label, you can just take that off. You can also, if I click down here, I can make an equation Y equals three X minus two which is the equation for a line so notice how it draws the line again if i want to hide the line i can click on off i can also make uh, parabolas so this is all supposed to, some of it's supposed to be review some of, i'm going to give you notes on uh, other stuff but just so you can see what we're doing here you see now there's a parabola it's a green one again if i click here it hides it hides it hides it right you're going to be drawing these lines to make those your picture now the first thing we want to do here is to uh, put our image here of what we want to do so i'm going to close this close this close this if you go to desmos i mean not desmos if you go to google look up um the image that you want to to use uh so um my, my son right now is really into Inside Out and he, he likes this character. Um, so that's the one I, I chose. Now click on the image that you want. Once you have the image, right click and save image as. 
First thing you want to do here when you're going to save is click on documents so you know where you save it. So notice how it says documents up here and make sure it's PNG because uh, the images that are PNG typically, not always, have a, a, a transparent background. And so I already have saved this before. It's actually right there, you see. So I'll save it again. It just overrides it and ask, do you want to replace it? Yes. Okay, that's saved. And it's saved under the documents folder. Like if I click on the little folder here and go to documents, it's right here. Anger, full body render, right? And so if I go to Desmos where I have my, uh, I've signed in, um, I have this new graph. I'm going to click here on this little plus and it asks me what do I want to add an expression, which is basically an equation for, uh, for to graph some line, a uh, note, a table, a folder. I'm going to click on image and then it tells me, okay, well, let's browse for your image. And I already have it here. It's uh, anger full body render and I'm going to open and notice how it shows up again. If I click right here, I can hide it and then I can show it, hide it, show it right now. When you first import your image, uh, make sure you, you size it to ho however big you want this to be. You're going to be making lines here. So I, my suggestion is that you make it maybe at least stretch it out to go up to 20. You don't want to make it too big because then you're going to be working with numbers that are really big when you're making these equations. You're going to be doing some math and you don't want to, ideally we want to work with smaller numbers. Okay. So I, I stretched it out so that the image goes up to 20. I think that's good enough because I'm going to be working with numbers on the most part, no bigger than 20. And so I have the following right here. Okay. So I have my image. Now that I have my image, um, I'm ready to start graphing. Um, so what I want you to do is uh, next take a at the video that has to do with graphing lines because we're going to start by graphing the straight lines. So that's what we want to graph first.